Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you to the first look of Davillion in Action RPG MMO brought to us by Tryon Worlds. Uh, very much along the same lines as uh, a Diablo 3, uh, pretty much right down to a T. Um, obviously some very uh, small little differences, i.e. the MMO uh, part of it. But uh, we're going to dive on in guys and uh, I want to show you obviously a short little quick video of what uh, Davillion is all about. It just came out last week and it is of course free to play. So as you can see here we have two servers that we can select from but we're just going to check out the options uh, as we always do here. So of course you know you got your basics for your, your video settings, uh, windowed mode, full screen mode and um, your resolutions, your anti-aliasing and of course your v-sync and of course overall quality, physical quality, all these you know pretty much all what you would expect from you know your custom to low and you know you can change those out we're just gonna keep them um, at to uh, what they're set for right now because I find I don't want to really uh, poke around with it really too much but it is good to see that uh, there is uh, you know at least some basic stuff out there as one would expect jumping into the sound system settings here we have um, you know all the basics that you'd expect some background music and, and we can you know slide those around and whatnot uh, might need to just drop down maybe something like the uh, I know the sound effects get a little too uh, out there so we'll just drop those down to about 80 and we'll, we'll apply that um, your control modes uh, like I said it, it very much feels very along the same lines as uh, Diablo but you are given two settings here there's a Davillion mode which is you can move around with the uh, the uh, mouse and you, know, and you can uh, click it around just like you would with the L. And then there's the RPG mode, which you can move around with your uh, WASD, and then uh, you still would have uh, your settings with your mouse. So it's just a, a couple different uh, control options. Um, the, the RPG mode, really weird to play with. Uh, it does take a little getting used to, but uh, again, uh, you have your cursor aim, and then um, your direction of your directional skills. Now those will be like when you're evades, depends upon which way you're looking. Um, so it's it's best that you might want to have it as your cursor aim instead of your player's view because if uh, your cursor's over here and your character's looking down here it's probably going to go you put it into fire and then of course we have our UI uh, settings obviously uh, your frames per second display and then you can reduce the performance uh, while the uh, game is not running uh, in the background camera effects which uh, will shake or it will show like a, a red when you're taking a lot of damage um, you can get your congratulations for when you're uh, leveling up and whatnot. Uh, Censor the restricted words in chat. I haven't seen anything really too uh, too bad. But again, if you have uh, the little ones playing, you might want to have that set out for them. So um, I think you know that that's pretty much it. We have everything set the way we want, so we can jump on in. There's only two servers here, so you got Asperon and Raven. So we're just going to jump on into Asperon and we're going to connect on into the game. I'll show you the very basics of what this game's all about. Don't ask me for what the story is because I have no idea. But you do have a select four classes to play as. You have the Evoker, which is a, a mage character. Um, they're pretty fun to play as. Uh, then you have the Berserker, which is a, a warrior-like creature. And, and what you can tell is really the graphics look fairly good. Right up there with... Uh, Diablo 3 at least on the, on the character creation screen. We then have the Shadow Hunter, uh, which is what I would say is very similar to like uh, Dante from Devil May Cry, the uh, Shadow Walker, very cool to play, a uh, range class as well. And then, um, you know, this wouldn't be a Korean game if you didn't have this, the Cannoneer, which is played by a small little girl for some apparent reason in Pigtails. And uh, she's a hell of a sharpshooter, but you know what? You're you're given very very few opportunities to play games with with characters like this. So we're gonna jump on in with the cannoneer, and we're gonna show off a little bit of what it is. So you're given a quite a robust uh, creative uh, screen here, which is really nice to see. You have different costumes, so you can see um, uh, different little uh, settings here that you can click up, and then there's just pretty much down to. Uh, the basics there, uh, so you know, find something that you really like. Again, these are just uh, things that you're you're gonna stick with. Now you got your 
Devillian preview. Now that's what they sort of can look like uh, when they go into their Devillian powers. I'm not sure if we'll really get into that, but that is a badass look. So obviously they're always going to have their, their basic look right here. Um, so you, you can customize their, their face to different things here. You know, obviously their eyes and whatnot will all look different. Their skin tone, you know, you can pretty much, you know, anything you really want. And then you have, of course, a, a color coordinator. Uh, you got your lip colors, and then of course you can always just random them up. No, why not, right? Um, and then of course you can go to uh, your head settings and pick up different hair that you want. You know, the little uh, rose petals, a nice touch. But again, a lot of options here, which is really nice to see. Is you know, because something like in Diablo 3, um, you know, you weren't given uh, many options outside of the. Uh, uh, the armor they're wearing, so it is nice to see. So I think we'll go with uh, maybe the, the somewhat long ponytail. I don't know, or the the bangs. Uh, who, you know, who knows, right? It's getting all, all weirdo short hair, medium length hair. Sure, let's go with there. And you know, you got your hair color, uh, blue, red. It all doesn't matter, kitties. Just random it up, because it doesn't matter. And of course, tattoo. Not not many options here, um, but uh, again can uh, set them different you know the stars are probably a nice touch obviously you can see them up on the face there and uh, then their pupils so you know stars cat like eyes and god whatever that those things are you know the, the beauty thing is is being able to random up everything here so um, because it's an MMO I think the problem is is you know the, the naming obviously uh, that's not all set and uh, obviously the problem is is you want to get a, a particular name it's probably already taken because this was released um, with early access and founders packs um, so that you could pay uh, real money on top of the in-game store that there is um, but uh, let's just see maybe we can get lucky with some maybe with um, oh god can't even spell right madness with a three how about that let's see if uh, let's see if that will work for us perfect so madness is not taken and I think that name is fitting so we're going to jump on in to the very basics of it and maybe hear what the story has got to say here maybe we'll learn a little bit the dark lord spear shattered as it pierced the heart of our god as the fragments fell they corrupted the land but some of us managed to master their fell power to become something more than human and lay waste to the Dark Lord and his legion of devils. After the war, most of us vanished, leaving little but stories Mostly. behind. Mostly. But our world is being plunged into oh, yeah. chaos once more. The Dark Sorcerer, Malik, seeks to summon the most powerful devils using the Spear's fragments. Now their guardian turns to humanity's last hope. We've decided to the turn to a little girl with a cannon to take we out some things. Devillian. Sure. Devillian it is. Looks like we got some boob physics going on too there, folks. The, uh, the look is obviously very much so like Diablo. I would say a little bit as well, uh, a little bit of Torchlight too in there. Uh, it's, a, it's a mix of the two. Um, but there you go, you can you can pick what you want here. Your pavilion mode or your RPG mode. And uh, we're just gonna leave it as is. So Lara here will help us out. And as you can see, you can click to uh, move around here. And you have your map up in the top right. Um, and then you got your Q for your potion. And then our number one, oddly enough, that like, I guess this is sort of what's what's weird to me is, like instead of the left or right um, bus, uh, bus bus mouse button, it, it chose to use uh, number one uh, to bring up uh, the the cannon boss. and that's what's a little weird to me that it sets it to one. But uh, you know, again, it's it's all it's all fine there. So we're just going to accept. Uh, you know, you, you'll find people around here like this, and you'll pick up quests. So we have our first mission there: defeat five. Malik rakes so we can just jump on in and uh, you know very simple you, just like in uh, Torchlight or uh, Diablo uh, you can hold shift and they will hold still that's huge for um, uh, Ranged characters like that and then you know that's it you know also nice little uh, feature the auto run you can run right to them now if I just click that they'll just run right to the next quest 
a lot of Korean uh, MMOs uh, are doing this. I think um, I'm not sure if it's uh, uh, Blade and Soul does it or not, but uh, you know it doesn't matter. But the one thing I actually find it's uh, I wouldn't say it's a problem. I mean it's not really at all. But uh, what you find um, is that the ability to hit number one while moving around at the same time actually becomes quite nice. Um, so that's why you might want to keep something at uh, number one and then keep your, your left or right mouse button there. But, you know, it's relatively easy stuff. I'm just going to turn up the volume there. I did turn it down a little bit, but it seemed to be uh, taken down a little bit. So you have arrows always pointing you to where to go. And, and you know, everything's relatively simple, obviously, at the very beginning. I'm just going to take this boy out. It, it's satisfying. I mean, uh, it, it really is. You know, you're getting all your loot and everything. And of course, we have some loot. Right? Open up our inventory here, and it's going to be all a lovely plain dress. So you can see that we're going to get five more, th five more health and our plus one on magic and physical defense. So we'll just uh, equip that, and there we go. Throw her on there. And of course, you can zoom on in and get a, a much better picture at your character or zoom back out. Um, to the default there. Alara, I'm glad you're safe. Oh, I'm glad everybody's safe. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark or two now, isn't it? Well, of course, the little girl's gotta help out with everybody now, don't we? I again, like, same with even the, um, having the shift and the, um, so, so we got somebody there with us. Having the shift and the um, the dash button a, a little far off makes it a, a little troublesome to play. But again, it's it's it's, it's little tiny things that I, I'm not really caring about too much because it's it's just entertaining as hell. And you see that we did level up. We also did get a new shot, so we got aim shot. Um, so that's just going to use up a, a little bit of our power there. And I forgot that it wasn't a uh, right click there. But there we go. Just a little blow up. Just a little blow. That's it. Rosen's going to help us out a little bit as we uh, try to get to the uh, the Cathedral Gargoyles. So that's of course going to use up our Vigor and then we're going to have to uh, dash out of there. And we got Hughes Poe. Get out of there. There we go. So what I find is, again, it might be with the setting, um, but moving around, um, it's it's almost much better to have these on one and two. Now I have a, a Razer Epic Naga, so it makes it moving around a lot easier. You know, probably want to change that to Z if you want to have a, a little more of like a, a Diablo-esque feel. But again, we'll just stick with it on one and two, and I'll try to remember that what they were. Make sure we wouldn't pick up anything. We got some gloves, some plain gloves. We'll throw those on there as well. How about it? Remember, your training does not end here. I will try to remember that. A little bit of a battle start. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm so, I'm so used to having these games be you know with with right click and left click. It just doesn't really make a lot of sense to me um, not to have it on left and right click. So again, there are guilds. You can see that's what the chat's usually screaming about: is people join my guild and do this and do that. So everything's on a cooldown as well. So you know you gotta watch out for that as well. Oh, I'm shooting the blue shit at you. There we go. There we go. Now, always make sure, you know, you're, you're picking up stuff. You know, we get a new little petticoat. I mean, those are really nice things to have. You always want a new petticoat. Please lead me. Oh, I'm working on it. So we're going to run into this, this glowy thing and, and, and travel to the inner sanctum. The infinite hunting grounds are best suited for parties. I'll keep that in mind. But let's see what this is all about, shall we? Oh, we learned Spark Trap. How nice. So 
So that's going to drop uh, a few mines for us there, as you can see. You know, little proximity mines, if you just hover over it, it'll tell you what it is. You know, what the, uh, everything's about it. You know, obviously, use the room. Yeah, there, there's got to be a setting uh, that when they're attacking, um, that they stop moving. It, but this this combat just great. It's it's you know it hits all the spots. Yeah, let's pick up the potion. Potions are always good. I, I don't know the the longevity of it. Uh, I've seen a lot of people say that this may be pay to win. Um, you know, uh, we'll we'll dive into the store afterwards. We sort of get to. Uh, a uh, store aspect of it, or after we get to a town, sorry. Um, but, you know, uh, there isn't really too much to lead into it at the moment. Again, it's all early stuff. We're just, we're just messing up gargoyles as we go along here. Pull up these summoning devices. There we go. There's the loot. There's the fat loot we want. Pale moon dress. Of course we do. It's a nice little thing. Like it gives you the little new there, and you know the little end over top to tell you that uh, you've gotten something. So the pale moon dress. Roseanne, get the hell out of the way. Look at that. Look at us. We look great. Fantastic. All right, back that up. Get out of there, get out of here. Achoo. Oh, out of range, there we go. I mean, I, I haven't really found the, the difficulty to be too hard at this moment in time. Um, but but again, it's, I'm, I'm sure that it's it's all end game stuff uh, where the difficulty really just racks up. And, uh, you know, I, I'm really thinking of sticking around with it, seeing what the game is actually all about, what does it hold. Um, but, you know, we'll see. It, it's free to play. You, you can't wrong a company for coming out with something like this that's, that's free to play. It's, it's you know, that's that's what they got to do. Um, so, you know, wh whether the, the formula will work for uh, trying or not, I mean, you know, they know what they're doing. So, we are off to the final door, which I assume will probably get some type of boss fight. There we go, a little jiggly jiggly. How about that, eh? Uh-huh. Alright, so we're going to just have to beat the guy in blue to get the girl in blue who's not wearing anything to cover up. So, I guess that's what it is. Oh, you're going you're gonna to dash around there, are you? Oh, excuse me, sir. Get out of there. So you can see that his health bar is uh, double. Um, more than enough time to really um, you know, get out of the way. There we go. Ow, get away from the fire. Get out of there. There we go. There we go. Reach level six. Got a got a new rifle. Now this stuff is is again pretty much all tutorialized. Uh, I mean, you're, you're gonna get a new weapon. You're gonna get a few uh, new dresses and whatnot. But. Uh, we're just going to save Lara here, and then we'll uh, we'll show a little more what this game has to offer. So you know, you're gonna hand it in just like any other action RPG MMO, and she's got a new quest for us. Where she's gonna give us a new petticoat. Isn't that what life's all about? Pretty much, this is the end of the tutorial stage of it. Uh, we're gonna jump into Windbrook Village, which is the uh, 
the uh, the first town that you're going to get into. But first, uh, we'll, we'll jump on in there, and then we'll uh, we'll jump into the marketplace there. dogs and their corgis running around but this is pretty much the first hub that I've come across so if you'll see um, you know anybody here um, they'll have their their basic quests so we can get a quest from Erica here um, or complete the one to get the petticoat and then she has another quest for us that's gonna give us a new dress all great things here um, and, and like I said the the beauty part of it is is having that auto run the what I found in the very beginning here, yeah, I assume this is probably just a portal to get back to Windbrook Village. Um, you know, but this is uh, here. You're going to meet other people, other cannoneers. Um, there's a warehouse manager, which is much like um, it's going to hold uh, some more things for you. We can unlock uh, our expansion ticket here and unlock more things here. So as you can see, they have a warehouse manager, and then we can get more things here. All, always at a cost. Um, but let's put on our, our petticoat. Um, there we go. And then, of course, we have the supply crate, which is going to give you a few things here. So, if, uh, as you can see there, so there's going to be a level 10. And then, uh, let's see, this is a Nympa. So, that looks like it's a pet. And then, of course, we have a megaphone, which allows you to talk in broadcast mode. I don't understand that one, but uh, whatever. Um, then, you have a general merchant, standard equipment merchant. Let's just check out to see what they have. Obviously, you know, it's going to cost... Uh, some silver, some gold, and uh, I think there are a few things that, uh, yeah, there you go, an angelic health potion, so, get some real Looking craziness. Alright, and then you got the uh, equipment got merchant, some expensive things that we're not going to buy, uh, a villager, but like I said, I was going to jump on into the marketplace, so if you see down here, it's going to have the uh, little gift, or you can hit control C, but there it goes, loads on up for us. And pretty much like you know any type of MMO you're expecting, you can buy um, packages here of credits. Um, like 750 uh, credits are going to cost you five dollars, all the way up to uh, you know a hundred dollars for eighteen thousand five hundred. Um, you can get revival stones, which are used to revive people. I get a whole bunch of stuff here. Like there's mounts. Um, you know, and I'm right now I'm unsure if there's a way to uh, buy these credits without spending real money. That's that's probably the first thing, and I'm going to take a stab and say no. Um, but again, don't hold me to that, um, but that's going to be my guess. You know, you have appearances, you know, all sorts of things, glasses. What I would probably would be my guess is that if there is no way of actually purchasing these things with real money, um, would be is that uh, there's probably a way to get these um, in the game probably through very hard grinding um, and get your mind out of the gutter on that one, though, kitties. I mean, that looks like uh, you can give some stuff as well to players, but uh, again, pretty basic stuff. But uh, I think what we'll, we'll continue on, um, you know, you can see we're in a safe zone. Yay! Um, you have your basic stuff, your character sheet here, so you can look at all your stats for Madness here, the Cannoneer. Um, we haven't really come across Devillian. I'm not sure what level that maybe unlocks at. Um, then you have your inventory, your quest log. Oh, let's see. Your skill tree. My goodness. I don't even know what these are all about. Let's check them out, though. So, you know, you got a basic tree. Uh, and then you can choose different talents. Gunslinger, Demolisher, and Opportunist. Uh, so it looks like we haven't really unlocked any points yet. But as you can see, you can get pretty deep with a build. And uh, what you're going to go with. Aim shots, spark traps, and flame calls. And from there, you got your achievements. Because every game nowadays have to have achievements, talisman, your map... Additional information, community stuff, and of course your basic menu. Um, you know, so like I said, you can jump on into the, the Adeline Coast or you can jump on in to do more quests. This is a basic cub. Uh, there are a lot of quests to just sort of jump on into right now. Um, there isn't really much to it at the moment to really show off, guys, but from from what I've really just gotten into right now, it's, it's, entr it's, it's interesting. Um, there's a lot to it. Um, and, you know, it's free to play. You, you can't deny, um, you know, worthy of anything giving yourself uh, a try or, or giving it some time out there, especially when you're not shelling out any money for it. And it seems to hit all those bells and whistles for you that if you're looking for something 
uh, very much like Diablo, but you're sick and tired of Diablo, even though that uh, that's doing well and, and taking care of uh, the things that need to be uh, done in that game. You know, the number of things that Blizzard has added in that game just is awesome. But uh, sometimes you want a different look, and uh, that's what this game's going to offer you, obviously, and uh, maybe something a little different. Um, but that's pretty much how we're going to end this one, guys. Uh, that's the quick look at Davillion, and I appreciate you taking a look with me as uh, we bounce on in there with the little dog in the background. But uh, Madness is going to say goodnight. Say goodnight, Kevin. Good night, Kevin. Good night, guys. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you like what's going on out there. I appreciate you tuning in. Thanks for watching Davillion. All the best, guys. Peace out.